Is this educational? Yes, I've been on social media again. A spin is defined as an aggravated stall. It occurs when at the point of stall, the aircraft's lateral forces are causing a yawed or side slip state. This causes the aircraft to begin to rotate around the vertical or normal axis, creating a situation where both stalled wings have different angles of attack, causing differing lift on each wing. The aircraft therefore also rotates around the longitudinal axis. The stalled situation also creates pitch changes, so the aircraft rotates around the lateral axis, in addition to the movement around the other axes. During the entry phase and incipient phases of the spin, the aerodynamic forces are not equal. Depending on the aircraft's individual stall characteristics, holding a can, cup or a bottle of fluid may or may not result in you looking like you've had a trouser accident. Yeah, the prostate thing's still playing up. So the pilot who created this video, and I use the word pilot loosely, says in the caption, a textbook spin done correctly yields near one force of gravity. In response to my comment, which asks, what does holding a Coke can during a spin prove? Danny the Aviator says, no need to hate on well-executed maneuvers. He clearly thinks he's some kind of sky god for being able to enter a spin. Let's have a look at the spin entry technique. So we're slowing the aircraft down here while maintaining straight and level flight. This is something that students learn after about five or so hours of flying, bringing the aircraft into a stalled state. This is not a special pilot skill. Just prior to the aircraft breaking into the stall, full rudder deflection is made, left or right, and that creates a spin in the direction that you've selected. As long as this deflection is held, the aircraft remains in a spin. So during the entry here, as we discussed, the forces are not equal, which is why the aircraft is entering a new state and accelerating in its rotation about all axes. This therefore does not guarantee that any liquid would remain in the container. Pilot ability is not a factor. Individual aircraft stall characteristics determine the docility or aggressiveness of the response here. Once established in a developed spin, the forces are more or less in equilibrium, which would likely result in the coke staying in the can, if it has up to this point. But who was ever concerned about g-forces or equilibrium when it comes to already established spins anyway? As you can see here, the threat of the spin is the disorientation created by ever-changing pitch, roll and yaw, the high rate of descent and the closure rate to the ground. Piloting skill really has no effect on the forces experienced during the developed spin. The control inputs are held constant throughout the spin. The aircraft's reactions are uncommanded by the pilot. I think our intrepid aviator has seen this video of a barrel roll where a military trained test pilot demonstrated a 1G roll maneuver while keeping this cup of iced tea from spilling. This is a valid demonstration because it's showing that the aircraft can be rolled inverted while maintaining one positive G with the right pilot control inputs. With a spin, you just hold in pro spin controls and just get whatever you're given. There's really no pilot skill required to enter it. In fact, the reality is that many accidents occur where a spin is entered due to a lack of pilot skill. The real piloting skill is in the recovery, or even better, avoiding the thing entirely. Whether or not the coke stays in the can is irrelevant and of no educational value. Most aircraft operating handbooks will stipulate that no loose items should be in the cabin for these maneuvers. This is because of the forces that can be encountered during the entry and recovery process. I would argue that an open container of fluid introduces the liquid as a loose article. I would further argue that a spin is a critical phase of flight. During these phases of flight, the pilot should be 100% engaged in flying the aircraft. Tying up one hand holding a beverage is going to be a difficult timely transition should that occupied hand become required for flying the aircraft at short notice. If you think I'm being harsh, just imagine the next time you're on an aircraft that I'm flying, I announce over the PA that I'll be attempting the landing trying to balance a jug of water on my head. If you wouldn't be happy with that, I can't see how you'd be happy with this private pilot spinning over your house clutching a can of coke. A quick search of the airman database reveals that this Instagram sky god is possibly only minimally qualified as a private pilot with no additional ratings. This would mean that he's in absolutely no position to be trying to educate anyone on how to fly, and I think this lack of experience is self-evident. Leave the teaching to people qualified to do it.
Well, he's clearly trying to compare himself with aviation legend World War II Spitfire pilot Bob Hoover, I think we should consider the possibility that he simply sucks. Like the vacuum cleaner. Hoover makes vacuum cli- never mind. And I'll leave you with another educational treasure which you can find on this pilot's social media, where he highlights the importance of smooth and deliberate control inputs during normal operations. Time to stop the Kellogg's pilot license promotions, I think.